Hello and welcome to another tutorial from VideoEditingSoftwareGuide.com Today we're doing a tutorial on how to create a PNG image in Adobe Photoshop Elements 9. Let's get into it. For those of you who don't know, a PNG image can be created to make uh, the background of the image transparent. Therefore, you can basically take things out of the image and only show particular pieces of the image and anything else that was in the image would be transparent so that your video or another image could be used behind the PNG and the only element that you get from that would be whatever you want everyone to see. So some examples of that might be a logo for your company or it could just be a ball that you wanted to um take out of a picture so instead of talking about it let me show you how it's done first thing you want to do is you want to go to file and you want to go to open you want to select the picture that you want to open and I'm going to use this photo here so there's a stock photo that I purchased that I can use however I want to now this image right now has the people jumping it has a sun and you see the reflection of the water but you have this blue around it this light tinted blue and what I want to do is I want to take out the blue if I wanted to I could take out the yellow and just leave these people jumping in it you can do it however you want to so what you're gonna do in Adobe Photoshop Elements you're gonna go to image and you're gonna go down to magic extractor magic extractor have a few tools here that you can use to take parts out of your image I'm gonna move this up real quick this is the size of my brush and I'm moving that up to a bigger size I thought it was a small circle so I'm just gonna move it up to a bigger one the first marker on here is one to keep things things that you're gonna include so you use that brush and I'm going to put a few dots on here you don't actually have to put it everywhere and you could actually use it like a brush but I just like to use dots because it's quick and I actually don't have to have everything included. So I, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edges because I see some parts of this yellow that are kind of going into the blue. I want to make sure I include those and I want to include the black in the bottom piece too. So I'm going to get some of that in here. So now the program has an idea of what I want to keep. So what I'm going to do next is click on the brush below it, which is indicate indicates the areas that I want to exclude. So I'm going to go and put a few dots into the blue tinted area to tell Photoshop Elements what I want to remove from this image. Now down here in this part you see there's some little jaggedness of the yellow so I'm gonna make my brush a little smaller so I can get into some of these areas I don't really need to go into all of the areas just enough to where it recognizes to keep the yellow and get rid of this blue that's down there so once you're done you can hit preview and you get a look at how it looks and you get the checkerboard that tells you what's going to be removed so I like that so I'm gonna click OK now as you can see I have my image the way I want it so I'm gonna save this I'm gonna do file save as and right now it's gonna change it as a PSD file which could be used later on to uh, edit some more in Photoshop but right now all I'm gonna do is save it as a PNG and I'm gonna change the name to Sun Kids, and it's going to be saved into my. I'm going to save it here to this area here so it's just easy for me to find. So I'm going to save it. I don't want it to be interlaced, and I would say earlier I said, Well, if I want to, I could just have the kids jumping if I wanted to. So if I go to image and then go to magic extractor again. Can actually make more adjustments to this I can click on the areas I want to keep and in this one I'm just gonna click on 
these kids here. Jumping. And then I'm going to go to the erase tool and I'm going to make the brush bigger. And I'm just going to take out all this yellow. And I'm also going to take out this black down here. And because I'm taking out so much, I could just kind of brush it all out if I want to. The reason why I'm clicking on this around the edge because there's two different yellows. So it might not, it might just take out the darker yellow and not the lighter yellow. So let's try this and see what it looks like. Great. I just got the black of the kids and that's it. Just them jumping up. So I like that. So I hit OK. And I do file. Save as. I'm just going to call this one kids. And I'm also going to save it into the same location where I saved the other one but I gotta remember to make it a PNG image and I click save no interlacing and we're done what I'm gonna do next is bring up uh, cyberlink and I'm going to import the media files that I just made so I'm gonna click on both of these I want to do control click to get both of them and I'm gonna click OK and now we can see them here now, if I go back to the clip here, you'll notice that if I add this to the PIP track, that you'll see just the image of that sun with the kids. There's no more of that blue tinted background. I can change this if it was my logo. I might put it over here in the corner and make it small so everybody can see my logo there and the video will be running through it. Or... If I wanted to bring the kids in, let's bring them down here. Let's move these over so we can see them over the image. And here are the kids, happy and free, jumping up and down. So I can put these kids wherever I want as well. So you can do this with whatever picture you want. So you can go ahead and use them in part of your video. You can place funny objects into the video. You can actually use keyframes to uh, move them to different positions while the video is playing as well. You can use a PNG image in a lot of different ways. It creates great transparencies for you for you to use within your videos, and also create um, some different graphics in your videos if you would like to do so. There you have it. How to make a PNG image in Adobe Photoshop Elements 9. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you again soon.